Our team at Deep Motion announces the free animation credit program. In this tutorial, I'll walk you through earning animation label credits in Animate 3D, and then how to refine your animation results to earn free animation correction credits. Combined, you can earn back 100% of all credits used on any job. Animate 3D provides AI motion capture from any video. We do not require any specialized cameras, suits, or other trackers. You can absolutely use any video from any device at any time. It's full body, hand, face, and multi-person tracking from any 2D video found online or taken yourself. So how does it work? Well, you can earn free credits in two ways. First, with animation label credits, and second, with animation correction credits. Follow along and I'll walk you through both free credit features. To get started, sign up for your free account at deepmotion.com slash sign up. Then log into your account at portal.deepmotion.com and click into Animate 3D, our AI motion capture platform. Here you will see your personal dashboard that shows you your current credits, as well as the free credits you have earned through our free credit program. Let's go ahead and start a new animation job by clicking on Create. Here, you can choose either 3D animation or 3D pose. Our free credit program also works with our 3D pose feature, which generates a 3D pose from a 2D image. However, I'm going over just the 3D animation in this video. Next, you can either select single person or our new multi-person tracking, which can track up to nine people. I'll be going over single person capture in this demo. Here in this section, you can select your character we have two avatar generators located under the 3D model section of your account, or you can even upload your own custom character. I'll be using this character I created with the built-in Ready Player Me character creator. Next, go ahead and upload the video that you would like to capture motion from. I found this video on a stock website. Again, you can use any video. We don't have any specific camera, phone, or other hardware requirements for our AI motion capture. Once the video begins uploading, you will see the animation settings appear below, including this new text box. Here is where you will earn your animation label credits. The goal here is to describe the motions happening in the video as descriptive and accurate as possible. Include things like emotions, for example, the person jumped up excitedly, or they sat down sadly, or moved angrily. Also include the directions that the subject is moving in, they move left or right, forward and backwards. And include specific names of moves, like specific dancing styles, or fighting styles, or yoga poses. To help you further with your labeling, we put together a comprehensive guide under this Learn More link. You can also review our capture guidelines at this link, which will help you with your animation quality. So check out the documentation before you get started. So here you can see I am labeling my waving animation with a motion, position, movement of the body, and even specific hand use. To award your descriptions with credits, we have an AI quality judge that determines how accurate your label is based on what the subjects in the video are doing. Putting in random text will net you with a poor quality score and not provide any credits. You have 256 characters, but more is not necessarily better if the description is too wordy. The quality judge will also not output a good score, so succinct and to the point is best at this time. Once you are done selecting the rest of your settings, go ahead and submit your job. Your animation label quality score will uh, only appear once your animation has processed. And here is my waving animation in the previewer. Down here, just below the previewer, are both my animation label quality score and the animation label credits that I earned. You can see that I have earned 77% of my credits back with just the text label and now I have the opportunity to earn the other 23% of my credits back with the animation correction credits. I will say here that this is a new tool and we are still working on our quality judges, so you can expect to typically see labels in the 50 to 60th percentile. You can earn up to 100% of your credits back between both the animation label credits and animation correction credits. All right, now on to the animation correction credits. 
you can see that the quality of my animation is determined to be 62%. This score is determined by a separate animation quality score that compares it to a mechanical model of a human. So the more natural the motions are to a human motion, the higher the score should be. For animation quality, you can expect to also see a 50 to 60-ish percentile score for higher quality animations. We will be releasing an update soon that will scale your correction credits with the amount we expect you may be able to improve your quality score. For example, if you get a 61% like I have, it's not exactly possible to improve it to 100% with our current quality judge, especially if the animation is already fairly clean like this one. Therefore, we will award you a greater amount of credits if you are able to improve it by just a few percentage points. Okay, let's take a closer look at this animation. I can see here at the end there is definitely a glaring issue with the back arm due to obstruction caused by the body. Now to improve this score, you are going to want to go into the Rotoscope Pose Editor. For a detailed tutorial on the Rotoscope Pose Editor, go ahead and visit this link. To help improve your correction score, you are going to want to scan the 2D view to make sure your points seem to be lined up correctly according to your subject and only moving those points that are drastically out of place. Next, you will want to review the 3D depth view and fix frames that have under a 50% pose quality. A good way to do this would be to copy and paste the full skeleton from the previous frame and edit the joints that move slightly. A warning here is to not use the pose quality as a guide for overall better animation quality as these things are not the same. So stick only to correcting issues you see instead of increasing the pose quality score per frame, which could end up negatively affecting your overall animation output. So what I am going to do here is reposition the leg joint so that they are straighter like the subject's legs in the source video. You can copy and paste joint locations from frame to frame or even use the interpolation tool down here where you can select a beginning position, move forward a number of frames and select the end position. And it will make all the middle frames average out, correcting any stray points in between. Okay, so now I'm going to start fixing the issue with the left arm that was obvious before. I'll start by finding the first frame that has some issues for a good starting point. The arm is completely blocked by the body and is why the AI is not able to place the arm correctly on the other side of the body. I am going to go ahead and somewhat match what the front arm is doing and use that position as a guide. While I am doing this, you will see that the pose quality increases a lot here because we are making the arm more natural looking. But again, this should be used more or less as a very loose guide for as your overall correction score will be determined on how natural the overall animation and motion is, not determined based on each joint score. All right, lastly, now I just need to match when the arm goes back up in the end frames and we should be good. After you have done your edits, to see your updated animation correction credit score, you are going to want to use the Save and Animate button, which will reprocess your animation. You can use this as many times as you like. Okay, let's take a look at the final animation. Great, you can see here that the back arm was fixed with the edits. The overall quality score only went up a couple percentage points. And this shows currently I wasn't awarded any credits, but again, we will be updating this so that small increments like this at this level will be awarded more points. I expect this result to net me over half of the remaining credits that I have to earn on this particular job. We will continue to update how credits are awarded with our quality judges, so please bear with us through the launch of this new tool. Now you may be wondering, what is this all for? Well, in case you missed it, we recently announced our new generative AI platform called SayMotion. SayMotion will turn text and video prompts into 3D animations 
and your descriptions will help further train this new platform. We are really excited to share this next phase with you and hope the free animation credit program will inspire even greater levels of creativity.